With the increasing use of the artificial intelligence program Chat GPT, some Texas colleges are looking at the technology's impact on their campuses. Our Tyler Gertman sat down with Art Markman, Vice Provost for Academic Affairs at the University of Texas at Austin, to learn more. So I'm curious when um, chat GPT and any like similar AI softwares came on your radar as like something to look out for at UT. Yeah, so so these large language models, um, chat GPT being the most prominent, really hit the mainstream in the late fall this year, November, December. And quickly, everyone dove in and started playing around with them and discovered that they do a pretty pretty nice job of generating text uh, and 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 a good enough job that if you ask them basic questions that one might ask it on an undergraduate exam, they often do okay, uh, which, which then raises the issue of, well, if this is a tool then that someone could use to provide work that isn't their own but looks pretty good, um, that could pose problems for our ability to assess how people are doing in class. And so and so that that naturally became some a topic of discussion around the university. How have you heard of professors and your you know, colleagues using ChatGPT in helpful ways? And if there's any examples of like bad ways it's been used? Well, I look, I I mean, obviously, you know, a student representing the work of chat gpt as their own work that would be problematic and and we have encouraged faculty to be very clear about their expectations for the work that should be done by a student themselves rather than being done with the aid of an ai system that said uh we for example uh we have our our most writing intensive classes come under the heading of what we call our writing flag classes. Uh, and uh, and and for, for those classes, the, the, the instructors are people who, who have spent a lot of time thinking about teaching good writing. And, and, the, and we've got that group really thinking about what are some clever ways of using systems like this. I mean, I think when a tool comes along like ChatGPT, initially everybody's concern is, well, this is going to destroy uh, our ability to teach. But very quickly, we discover, no, actually, it's a tool that could be used in interesting ways, just like the calculator didn't kill our ability to teach math. 